All right, guess what time it is? It's time for the uh, H3VR update. Just uh, set that up. And today, what do we got? We got a lot of good stuff today. All focused on sound, uh, Anton has stated in the devlog. But first, let me just check this out. Ooh, this is the Model 39, or if you want to be specific, this is the Mark 22 Model 0, or Mod 0, sorry. Mark 22 Mod 0. And uh, basically, uh, if you ever played Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, you'll recognize this as the Hush Puppy. Yes, this is pretty much the gun that was used by the U.S. Navy SEALs. And um, yeah, it's basically, I think it's uh, based off of a Smith & Wesson Model 39. Just look at that detail. And uh, this gun has one unique feature. Oh, that's not it. There we go. How do I do it? Wait, hold on just a second. Let me switch controllers here. There we go. Yeah, my trackpad again. I think this controller's trackpad is garbage junk. But this one, I can actually... All right, so... We'll get to that in a minute. Let's just fire this thing off and see what it sounds like. There we go. <laughs> Put the stock there. All right. Let's shoot this baby off. Because we all want to be a uh, naked snake. Metal Gear Solid 3. Or, well, he, he becomes Big Boss, right? So, yeah. Spoilers if you haven't played any Metal Gear games. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Uh, nice, nice raised sights. Makes things a lot easier, especially if you put a suppressor on this thing. What actually? Oh well, I do have a suppressor. I'm just going to a uh, uh, spawn another one. Let's spawn the biggest one, the Uzi suppressor. Hopefully the audio is recording. Just want to check. Yep, yep, yep. Testing, testing. Okay. <laughs> so the Uzi suppressor. Let me just stick this thing on. Ah. Eh, the Uzi suppressor is a little too big for this, but most other suppressors I think will work well with these sights. I just want uh, guns with nice raised sights. Let's try the UC9. I think this will work. The Uzi suppressor is just a little too big. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Looks pretty good. Nice clearance. You can see, uh, you can see the sights. But we're not going to use this suppressor. Throw that away. We've got our own right here. But first, before we do that, let's fire off a couple rounds. I know I've been talking a lot. Here we go. Drop the mag. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I completely forgot that this gun does not... Since this gun has been modified, that's why, you know, it's the Mod Zero. The slide does not lock back. Okay, so... When you finish emptying a magazine, let's do this again. Oh, we forgot. Notice the slide does not lock back. Gun is empty. The magazine is empty, obviously. It should theoretically lock back, but again, this gun has been modified. You look at another gun here. Let's get this, uh, with the VP9. The gun is empty. The slide is locked back. You notice that these uh, little things here on the near the feed lips, little cutout indentations, they you know they make the slide lock back. But again, this gun again modified so that it can't do that. Pretty cool. Drop that mag. Now, let's try the suppressor. Comes with a custom suppressor. Uh, it's it's too bad that Anton can figure out how to do the custom wipes. Like, what you would have to do is, uh, just like in Metal Gear Solid 3, if you ever played that game, you shoot the uh, suppressor too much, It in the game it breaks. In real life, it doesn't break, but it, you know, it degrades to the point where it's not really suppressed anymore. You're, you're shooting and then, you know. So what they would do is they would open up this cap here, and then they would pull out the wipes... And they would put new ones in, maybe do a little oil or what do they use uh, for suppressors? They they put some kind of um, 
special liquid. I, I'm not, again, I don't have a suppressor in real life, so I can't really tell you what they do, but sometimes they do that. They put a little uh, oil in there or whatever liquid to make it more quiet, and then they screw the cap back on, and you got like, you know, very silent. Oh, let me just check if this is chambered. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, you know, that's what they would do. Again, we got a chamber because it doesn't lock back. Now, the special thing about this gun, Anton has already shown us, but we can lock the slide with a click of the, whoops, thumb pad. You, ah, oh, man, the, the motion is so hard to show when there's no thing, but I think you press down on the left side. Yeah, so left side, oh, nope, that's safety. Left side, down, something like that. That's kind of a strange thing to explain, but it's really natural in game. You can lock the slide, so that means that when you fire around, the slide doesn't go back, and basically you have to unlock the slide, chamber another round, lock the slide again, there we go, and it is very whisper quiet. I think most of the noise probably comes from the the movement of the slide. Because that's a lot of metal moving around. That's the thing with guns, just metal moving at violent speeds. <laughs> Either out of the barrel or slide moving around, but you can lock the slide. It's really hard to uh, get into a rhythm, and I have to practice this. Oh, I just locked it. I don't know why I locked it. Oh, man. It's tough. It's tough. You have to practice. Practice makes perfect. But there you go. You got your little uh, hush puppy. That's what it was called informally. It was with a nice little wire stock. Good stuff. All right. I mean, that is pretty cool. Again, it's too bad that Anton couldn't get the wipes system working for the uh, the suppressor itself, but that's okay, you know? I mean, sometimes you can't have everything, and that's fine. You just got to be uh, thankful that uh, Anton gives. It's good, you know? Oh, dogs are barking. Ignore that. Don't worry about that. Let's see what other toys we got here. Oh, we'll need, uh, we'll need something. Oh, man, there's somebody outside. They just love to do that. I don't know if you can hear them, but... All right, let's, uh, spawn a couple of things. Oh, this one is a rail? Okay, good. All right, first up, we've got two new suppressors, or silencers, if you want to call them that. <clears throat> this is the oil can filter suppressor. Not exactly uh, legal, uh, but, uh, you know, some people... Oh, this one is huge. Look at that. Let me just uh, make sure I spawn lock this. And this would be uh, probably home on a rifle or something. But yeah, this blocks out all the sights. I don't think the, uh, the Mark 22 can, with its raised sights, will clear this monstrosity. Did I, uh, not chamber around? Nice. That's the oil can filter. Again, not very legal, but you can do it <laughs> if you want to. I mean, and uh, here is the bottle suppressor, silencer. Just screw that on there, I guess, if you want to. <laughs> and it's made out of a bottle. Huh. That's not bad. Usually they'd have, like, in, in some games, it'd be like a one-shot kind of thing where, you know, you would have a... Like, I think it was The Last of Us that had a... Was it The Last of Us? I haven't, I haven't played PlayStation 3 in a long time because my PlayStation 3 is broken, but I think it's that game... One of the games where, like, you put on a suppressor and then once you shoot it, the, the end blows off and you can't really suppress anything anymore. 
But this one has a nice little uh, hole cut out for it, where the bullet comes out of. And that's pretty cool. Let's drop that. Take another uh, magazine in there. And then we got some cool stuff that Anton has added. Let me just look at this first. It's the gun nut. All you people out there asking for, uh, you know, those like uh, tactical sack attachments. Now you got yourself a gun nut. A peanut. <laughs> <laughs> it moves around every time you fire. That's nice. There we go. You got shells a nice little peanut attachment. All right, that's out of the way. Let's focus on some of these other ones. Let me load up another magazine here. Oh, so many magazines. We've got ourselves a loudener. Finally, people have been asking for a long time. You're gonna make your guns even loud. Oh, that's pretty loud. Although I do, I, I do have to tell you guys that I have turned down the volume of the recording. Uh, you know, I don't want to blow out your ears, but again, sometimes, you know, some people say, oh, it's not that loud. I, I know. It's the volume of the recording is, is uh, modified. I, I changed it. So let's take this off. Okay. Hear that difference? Put it back on. Not bad. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Uh, you know what? Maybe I should switch to a rifle for these next ones because um, uh, should I open one of mine? Let's do a left hook. Oh, man. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I should start brand new here. One of these days I'm going to have to redo all of my vault because I have, there are new, um, new attachments. Okay, let me just grab a, just a regular magazine. We're not going to go too crazy today. All right, so first off, we've got Bicycle. Bicycle Bell. How does this work? Oh, there we go. <laughs> knock, knock! Oh, I don't have any ammo in this thing. Let me just uh, set it to semi. Be like, knock, knock. Oh, there we go. That's the last sound the sausage will ever hear. Bicycle bell. And then we got a bicycle horn. Let's put this like an undermounted grenade launcher here. this, put that in there. Oop, I didn't mean to grab that. I meant to grab the... <laughs> that's going to be a problem. But that's not really a problem, though. That's actually pretty cool. But yeah, I meant to grab the, uh, the gun. Instead, grab the, the horn. Honk, honk. Oh, I need to move this thing out of the way. Oh, come on. There we go. Trackpad is garbage on this thing. And uh, let's say you don't want that underneath. You want to put a sh uh, under barrel grenade launcher there. Which, oh man. You know what? This would be a good time to actually show you that. Let's go spawn a my my stuff. Let's say you've got a uh, under barrel launcher on your gun, right? You don't want to take that off. It's you know, it's, it's your pride and joy. You know, you like it. I don't have any rounds for this, but that's okay. Well, you have an attachment on the front of your gun that works the same way. Oh, I don't have any ammo in this. Why did I... There we go. So every time you shoot... I have some ideas about this that I want to try out, but uh, we'll do that in a minute. All right. What's next? All right, let's just get rid of this. I, I know I saved in the vault, so don't worry about it. So now we've got the ultimate in uh, honkery. We've got a Meaty League Gaming air horn. <laughs> so stupid. I love it. Oh man, 
You can do like a 360 no scope. I don't want to do it though, because I am wired. I do have a wire coming out of my head, so I can't really do a 360. Uh, but just pretend I'm doing 360 no scope. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. And uh, what else we got here? The last two things, we've got some bayonet attachments. I think Anton's already shown this off, but this is the fork. This would have been really good for the uh, corpse disposal uh, Gronch minigame. You know? And if you don't like stabbing things, if you just want to flip them, have yourselves a <clears throat> spatula. Grab things. Whoop. You know, just... I'm gonna flip this burger here. Not really a burger, that's a suppressor, but you know what I mean, right? Oh. Okay. Okay, that's enough of that. But yeah, those are your attachments. Pretty cool. I just want to try something out before we move on to the next part of this update, which is um, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, did I not show off the meat horn? You got ourselves a meat horn. Remember last time when I was talking about how uh, Anton needed uh, a uh, powder horn? Well, we've got ourselves a powder horn. This time shaped like a sausage. And it's also got a wonderful feature. Like I was saying last time, you need uh, an exact measurement of powder, right? So what this thing has is a measuring cup, or whatever it's called, a powder measure. I forgot what it's called, but it's there. You just need to fill it up, and then dump this in. Oh goodness, need to work on that. But yeah, um, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, yeah. So, anyways, I was gonna do something. What I was gonna do? Oh, I wanted to try uh, something ridiculous. Uh, before we move on, uh, there are other chances for other people to be ridiculous, but I'm going to do this. Since this thing accepts uh, attachments in the front... Oh, did I spawn a... Give me the spawn some ammo here. Since this thing accepts attachments, let's see what we can put on here. Uh, Loudner. Will this work? I, that's the thing I want to figure out first. Will this work? Oh, oh, it does. It does work. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is beautiful. Oh, it's so large. I wonder how this will sound. I can't really tell the difference since this weapon is that loud already. But we do have something else that we can put on this thing. The bike horn. Oops. Oh, I need to grab it. Oh, get out of here, smoke. Come on, I can't see anything. It is just too... Hmm. Doesn't seem to work. Or maybe it's too loud that I can't really tell. Alright, you know what? Let's try something else. I wanted to do that. I'm sorry, but I did. Uh, what else can we put attachments on? I'm trying to remember. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. No, I thought it would scale up. That would be funny, though. You have a giant uh, uh, spatula at the end of the uh, minigun. <laughs> All right, where is the other thing? Where's the fork? Here's the fork. Give me that fork. No. Oh, come on. Where's the... <sighs> this thing is so large. I don't know where the uh, thing is. There we go. Throw this away right now. Go. 
What can I do with this? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. I just thought of in my head. Put a loudener on this thing. <laughs> I don't know if that's louder than usual because this thing's already pretty, uh, pretty plenty loud. Hmm. Maybe not. This thing's loud enough already. I don't think Anton's gonna risk destroying our speakers for this, but that's still a pretty funny image, though. Look at that. A loudener at the end of the, uh, the Barrett. What about the bike horn? It's so loud that you can only hear the last part of this horn. <laughs> oh, man. Of course, you know, you can have a... Whoa. You can have a spatula at the end of your ferret. Come on. Where is the grab point here for the spatula? There we go. Get off. All right, what else can I do here? Oh, uh... Actually, did Anton ever, uh, no, no, okay, I was just wondering, is, uh, maybe, maybe in the future Anton will do a, a meme flintlock where you can attach stuff to the front, but this is also spawn lockable now, if I remember correctly, or tethered, you can tether it to, which is, uh, ooh. That's cool. I thought it was spawn lockable, but I guess you can. You can just tether it. It was pretty cool. All right. I think that might be it. I might have to play around with these. Oh, actually, you know what? Oh, man, I, these ideas just pop up into my head after. Uh, let me... I'm not going to fire it. I'm just going to try it. Uh, nope. Oh, this looks pretty nice on there. But I'm surprised it doesn't scale up. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. That's all right. It's kind of impossible stuff anyways. That's all right if it doesn't work like that. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. Don't be disappointed. Just be glad that you can still do it, you know? <laughs> uh, what else can I do before I move on to the next thing? I don't think these will work. You can't put attachments on these, uh, uh, muzzle attachments, barrel attachments. Oh, man. There's so much stuff I want to do, but I know I'm short on time because I do have to go somewhere. So I'm sorry if this is feeling a little bit rushed, but I just need to, uh, oh, what can I do? Oh, wait a minute. Can you, can you do this? Oh, you can. <laughs> wait, do I not? Do I not spawn a, uh... Huh. That's weird. There is no 50 cal. Oh, man. Hold on. Wait a minute. Spawn the ammo panel here. Oh. 50 caliber BMG. Where are you? There we go. Uh, I'll just do a single cartridge. How loud would this be? Oh, goodness. Hold on just a second. I need to spawn lock this. Let's take this off first. Oh, goodness. Okay. It just glitched out on me there. Don't worry about it. That was my fault. Okay, sounds like that. Put this baby on. Oh, goodness. It's a little bit louder. But I, I have a feeling that this is probably for like pistols and stuff like that that kind of sound anemic. If you've got like a 50 caliber weapon or a gigantic shotgun, then that's not really going to make much of a difference. But that's still pretty cool. Don't worry about it. Uh, but this will be pretty funny. <laughs> Put a bike horn at the end of this. <laughs> Double the horn. Stick 
one on the rail here. It's kind of hard to get in there, but I think I can. Oh, no, it's backwards. Okay. Yeah, we'll, need, well, I'll probably need to get an extender or something. But yeah, um, all right. I, I think I've messed around long enough. Come on. There we go. It's time to go and see the Grunch for our latest job. Sorry, hold on. I need to find my control uh, thing here, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, we're back again, and this time let's see what the Grunch has for us in the form of firearm testing. All right, we'll see. Let's... Cartridge sorting. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Uh. Accu... What? Oh, no. This is terrible. Hold on. Oh. I'm confused. Okay, we've got this. We got this. Okay, that's good. Managed to... Oh, no. This is, uh... Oh, this is the, uh... There's only one round in there. Oh, my goodness. So many guns. Uh, this is going to this one. Oh, no. Uh, this one, right? This is the, uh, M2. Uh, where's the, uh... Is it this one? Oh, goodness, I think it was, yeah. Okay. Uh... This is the BAR. Uh, this is a shotgun. This is the Galil. This one, this magazine right here. Oh. Okay. Oh, am I supposed to shoot that thing? I, oh. Oh, uh, this is not the magazine for this. This is a Glock mag, yep. Oh yeah, you're supposed to shoot. Okay, I get it now, okay. This is, uh... This is empty. This is the, uh... The thing, the shotgun. There we go. Where is that? Oh, this is... Uh... Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope, that is not a... That is not the right magazine. Oh, no, there it is. I found it. Oh. <laughs> One more time. I think I got it. Okay, got an M16. That's not quite... Oh. There we go. Uh... I'll throw that away. This is a Maluke. No, that's not it. That is. Wait a minute, hold on. No, I want this one. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't get that. That was weird. That's not quite the weapon that I want. This one? No, this one. Yeah, this is a, this is not it, this is, I'm confused, I'm so confused now, this is not, oh my goodness, this one, we'll just, ah, <laughs> uh, one more time, this is the uh, honey badger, 
This is FN Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Oh, no, that's not. This is not the right magazine, I don't think. Oh, it is. I did it. Oh, okay, I missed. Uh, this is not the right magazine. Is it this one? Don't, don't do this to me. There we go. this where's the thing oh there it is this one goes here no this does not go here uh this one the phantom mp5 i need an mp5 magazine this is not mp5 magazine this is not an mp5 ma there it is that's your good knowledge. Oh, uh, this one. I don't think so. No, this is not going to work. This is. Oh, no, this is not the right one. <laughs> oh, God. One more time. I, I, I can do this. I can do this. Okay. Oh. Where did they go? Magazine! Give him the magazine! There we go. This, this is a battle rifle. Does, does this one go in here? No, it doesn't. This one. Yes. This one doesn't have a safety, right? Where's the thing? This, I think, is the right one. No, it's not. I might be wrong. There we go. It's <laughs> an MP5 magazine. That. Is a, oh, the sniper. Sniper's bullet. Why did I choose the sniper? MP5. This is not an MP5 magazine. This is an MP5 magazine. Uh, oh, this is the Delisle Carbine. Carbine. This one goes here, right? Oh, safety. Goodness. This is a... Oh, well, I'm just going to ignore that right now. Oh, uh, this is the... Uh... Come on, there we go. Good. No, no. Safety on is on. This is uh, Jetfire. Right, that's not a jet fire. That's not the right magazine. This is the right magazine right here. Oh, safety. Uh, Galil. Shotgun. This one's easy. Oh, this one is pretty easy as well. I just need a shotgun. Oh, this is a, uh, no, that's not it. There's an eagle. There's an eagle. No, that's not a desert eagle mag. That's a desert eagle mag. That's not a desert eagle. This one's a desert eagle mag. There we go. Uh, <laughs> All right. It's tough. I will say that. I thought I could do it, but I can't. Well, that's the update for today. Um, yeah. Whew. That was uh, confusing for my brain right there. I, I kind of got lost. And I thought I knew a lot about this game. But I guess uh, I'm not that good. <laughs> I guess somebody with uh, better knowledge. And wait, hold on. Where's my chair? Where's my computer? Oh, it's over here. Someone with better knowledge of the game could probably get through that uh, grunge job. But man, I got confused. That was terrible. <laughs> All right, well, that's about the update for today. I have to go and attend a party, so I'm going to have to cut it short. But I will see you uh, if I do manage to record something. Uh, I'll see you later. All right.